The pea crab is the minutest of its family. Measuring half an inch across, these pea-sized crustaceans like to hang out in oysters and mussels. Researchers are sure that great white sharks have been roaming the seas for the last 16 million years, perhaps even more. And while scientists used to believe that a great white's life expectancy didn't exceed 25 years, new research proves that these predators typically live up to 70 years. A 2018 Harvard University study suggests that these unique denticles on shark skin can also help to create more efficient planes and cars. The team of engineers found out that they increase lift. Lift is the force that pulls a plane up when the pressure of the air on top of the wing is less than the pressure of the air under the bottom of the wing. Now, let's imagine that you cut your foot on a sharp stone while swimming in the ocean. Ow! First, the smell of your blood would have to travel the distance to the shark's nostrils. And how fast it goes will depend on the water currents. The more active they are, the faster the smell will reach the predator. Then, the shark would have to decipher the smell and find it alluring enough to react. And finally, it would need some time to reach you. So, you can relax. You'll have enough time to get back to the safety of the beach and get a band-aid for that cut. The name comes from the 70 to 150 reddish-yellowish hair-like tentacles hanging from its body. Like other jellies, they're quite beautiful to look at. They come in several colors, including red, purple, and different shades of orange. Its bell can reach sizes of around 6.6 .6 feet in diameter. But that's nothing compared to those tentacles. They can get up to 120 feet long, putting the lion's mane jellyfish among the ranks of the world's longest animals and certainly the largest jellyfish species. It likes to float in the open ocean, where it feeds on zooplankton, small crustaceans, fish, and even other types of jellyfish. It uses the sting on its tentacles to stun its prey by injecting it with venom. This massive shark reigned over the oceans 60 to 45 million years ago. Autodesk could grow up to 30 feet in length and weigh more than 4,000 pounds. That's the weight of the average new car in the U.S. This predator could also boast razor-sharp 4-inch long teeth. With the help of these daggers, Autodesk feasted on big fish and whales. The Megalodon wasn't the only giant to terrorize the oceans. Liviatin mavele was a sperm whale that was over 60 feet long, weighed more than 50 tons, and its 14-inch teeth were the biggest of the animal kingdom. The Megalodon and the Liviatin both lived in the Miocene Epoch. They needed massive amounts of food, and since both of them had a particular taste for baleen whales, they'd fight over prey and territory. Just imagine that epic battle! Although it looks like an eel, this fish belongs to the Agnatha species, that's fish without jaws, and the family also includes lampreys, terrifying monsters with disc-shaped suction cup mouths filled with spiraling rows of teeth. Hmm. Hagfish have two tongues, four hearts, and no eyes or stomach, like something from another planet. And what sets them apart from anything on this planet is that they have a skull but no spine. They don't have bones either. That unique spineless skull is made entirely out of cartilage, the same stuff in your ears and nose, that's right. Scaleless with skin that seems to fit over them like an oversized holiday sweater, it'd be a mistake to think this frail little creature would be an easy dinner. They've evolved to escape from other fish like Houdini's of the deep. And the trick is slime. Lots of it. When something tries to gobble them up or gets just too close for comfort, hagfish release a protein from the holes lining their sides. When this stuff meets the surrounding water, it balloons dramatically, as in 10,000 times. The more water touches it, the bigger this goo ball gets. A teaspoon of hagfish slime can turn into a bucketful in a second. It instantly clogs the gills of any fish trying to chomp down on our slimy friend, even sharks. But hagfish have gills too. So why doesn't the slime block their own? Easy peasy. This hagfish will simply tie itself into a knot and scrape the slime off its body. Honey possum joeys weigh less than a grain of rice and finish growing inside their mother's pouch. Yep, just like kangaroos. They're ready to venture out on their own at 11 weeks. The North American leech shrew weighs no more than a raindrop at birth. 
By 21 days, these teeny tiny animals are ready to begin an independent life. Chinese crocodile lizards have live young, strangely like mammals. The newborns weigh less than a jelly bean and can feed themselves almost immediately. The parents don't raise their young. Pygmy mouse lemurs are the world's smallest primate. They only weigh one ounce when they're adults. So it comes as no surprise that newborns weigh less than a nail. Koala joeys are born hairless, and their eyes and ears don't even work yet. Yet within 9 to 10 months, they venture out of the pouch but can return there to sleep or if it's wet and cold. A kangaroo joey is just one one hundred thousandth of the animal's full-grown size. At 6 months, they start making short trips out of the pouch. By 8 months, the kangaroo is fully independent. Newborn hedgehogs are covered with small bumps, where their 150 soft bendy spikes will come out in 24 hours. As they grow, those will turn into 8,000 hard, pointy quills. Skunks weigh an ounce at birth, about as much as a light bulb. At 6 weeks, they start to make short trips with their mother. At 4 to 5 months, they're on their own, little stinkers. A baby cottontail rabbit weighs a bit more than a AA battery, but they grow fast. At 4 to 5 weeks, they're ready to start their own life. Snowy owl chicks weigh as much as a golf ball when they hatch and start flying at 6 weeks. These arctic birds have feathers on their feet, like warm slippers. A newly hatched saltwater crocodile weighs around 2.5 ounces and will stick with mom for 8 months. They're the largest crocodile species in the world. Bald eagle chicks weigh only a few ounces and fly the coop at 6 weeks. Bald eagles make the biggest nests of any bird. Their homes can weigh 2 to 3 tons. Flamingo chicks weigh as much as a tennis ball. Born gray and white, they turn pink thanks to algae they consume. Flamingos reach maturity by age 5. Their plastic friends live in my front yard. A kitten weighs between 3 and 6 ounces at birth, depending on the breed. They can double their birth weight within a single week. Kittens are ready to leave their mom at 8 weeks. Baby badgers are about as heavy as a baseball. They develop pretty fast and already know how to find food for themselves at 3 months. Red pandas are born well-equipped. They already have fur to protect them from the cold. Newborn red pandas weigh the same as a kitten, and they stay with their mother for 12 weeks. When toucans sleep, they curl into pretty tight balls. These birds can turn their head so that their tail covers their head and the beak rests on the back. So yeah, they have a ball. The ostrich has some of the largest eyes in the animal kingdom. They're more massive than a bird's brain. Each eye is as big as a billiard ball. All clownfish get born male, but in some circumstances, they can turn into females. This change is irreversible. Unlike most fish, when seahorses mate, they do it for life. Even cuter, when the mates travel, they move side by side and often hold on to each other's tails. The male usually gets stuck schlepping the luggage. Termites never sleep. They don't need to recharge their batteries. But they can eat 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, on your house. The sloth needs up to 2 weeks to digest its food. Hey, take your time, no hurry, nothing on the schedule. Dogs' nose prints can be used for their identification. They are similar to human fingerprints and unique for each animal. Owls don't have eyeballs. Instead, they have eye tubes that don't move in the eye sockets. Penguins don't have external ears, but their hearing is especially sharp. Especially when they're on the lookout for polar bears. Shh, let's not tell them. Jellyfish are up to 98% water. That's why when they get washed ashore, their bodies can evaporate into the air after just a few hours. If a traffic jam happens underwater, an alligator will always give way to a manatee. Nice manners. Grizzly bears have such a strong bite that they can crush a bowling ball. So it's smart just to let them win. Giant pandas aren't picky about their sleeping spots. They usually fall asleep wherever they are, in most cases, right on the forest floor. The giant panda's newborn cubs are tiny. They weigh like a small cup of coffee and are smaller than a mouse. 
The red handfish can walk along the ocean floor with the help of its hands. But of course, they are not hands, but evolved fins. Really. Cats don't usually meow at each other. A study has shown the felines use this way of communication mostly to get attention from us humans. And it works. Sloths can't shiver. It's not that they're too busy digesting that two-week-old meal. Their fur is sometimes covered with algae. And when they get too hot or too cold, their metabolism shuts down. During the hard times, immortal jellyfish transform themselves back into their younger state. Once they reach the stage when they're nothing but a blob of tissue, like me, these creatures start to grow again. And this process can apparently repeat again and again. There are more than 24 time zones in the world, which means that not all of them are exactly one hour apart from each other. And that's true. Many time zones have only a 30 or 45 minute difference from the neighboring ones. Remember to tell me in the comments below about the time zone you live in. Despite a popular misconception, when you lose weight, your fat cells don't just disappear into thin air. Nope, they just become smaller. And vice versa. When you gain some additional pounds, your fat cells grow in size. The mimic octopus has a perfect defense system. It can not only change its color, but also take the shapes of other animals. For example, flounders, sea snakes, or lionfish. If you decided to save a few bucks by charging your smartphone less often, let me disappoint you. To charge a cell phone, you need teeny amounts of electricity. That's why the maximum amount of money you can save within a year is less than a buck. The world's population is constantly growing, and a lot of people find it a bit concerning. But what if I tell you that all those 7.5 billion people living on Earth right now stood shoulder to shoulder, they would occupy just 500 square miles, which is the same as the territory of Los Angeles. Now this huge number sounds more manageable, right? McDonald's once created bubblegum-flavored broccoli to encourage kids to eat more healthily. Sadly, the experiment didn't end successfully. Child testers were terribly confused by the taste. The weird broccoli was a failure. Um, couldn't see that coming, huh? The microbes living inside humans turn out to be way more diverse than researchers previously thought. And what's even worse, almost 99% of them are unknown to science. Well, that's disturbing. The first oranges that were brought from Southeast Asia weren't orange. It was a tangerine pomelo hybrid, and its color was green. In the 18th century, sugar was so expensive that only rich people could afford it. And when someone had a black decayed tooth, they were considered the creme de la creme, or a big deal. Ooh, how times have changed! Sonic the Hedgehog was put in the Guinness Book of Records for being the fastest video game character of all time. After all, he runs faster than the speed of light. Our noses can detect more than 1 trillion smells. Sounds impressive, but a dog sniffer can detect 10,000 times more than that. Well, humans can smell if there's a teaspoon of sugar in their coffee. A dog can smell a teaspoon of sugar in 1 million gallons of water. Goats were the first to discover coffee's energizing effects. They started feeding on coffee beans and got hyperactive for the rest of the day. The goat owner noticed this and spread the word. Now, I'm a full-out dog person. Well, regular-sized dog person. Zeus, a Great Dane, was officially the world's tallest dog. Being 3 foot 8 on all fours made you think you were looking at a small horse. Imagine that face waking you up in the morning. And what about taking him out for a walk? You'd have needed a pretty strong leash. According to his owners, he was a gentle giant and was usually laid back, luckily. And Zeus had a really important job. He was a certified therapy dog, spreading his love and joy to all in need. Imagine a dog like that. You wouldn't need to put out a water bowl every day. He could just drink straight out of the tap. Hugging would be on a whole different level, too. How much do you think that guy ate? Would he have even fit on your bed? So many questions. 
Now what if you're a cat person? You'd better prepare yourself. Ha! Get it? Anyway, this cool cat over here has been called the world's longest domesticated cat. His name's Baravel, which means clown, and he comes from a small town in Italy. He's a gentle giant too, which is good because he's longer than a baseball bat. When they see a photo, people usually think he's been photoshopped. He enjoys basking in the sun by the window, staring out into the backyard. Hunting mice must feel like chasing ants to him. The previous title holders were called Ludo and Stewie, the same breed as Baravel. That's a lot of cat fur on my mom's new sofa. Sheesh. Hopping up next is a rabbit named Darius. His long ears and cute button nose aren't why he's special. A regular rabbit's about 14 inches, but Darius here, just over 50. That's basically a rabbit dog. Darius grew up on a farm in England, and living out in an open field gave him a super chill personality. Feeding him must be tough though. Darius must be a carrot-eating machine. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Quick and shifty under the water, able to bring down an entire ship, the Kraken was famous for disappearing ships. That's what the legends say. Probably just a sailor's tale told to scare the new recruits. But researchers may have found its baby brother. The largest ever recorded squid was almost 60 feet long, but the researchers forgot to video it. Oh, no! The largest squid ever caught on camera was about 25 feet. That's like an RV. Scientists think there might be larger ones out there, but they're kind of camera shy. Never heard of a sea squirt? I don't recommend getting too close unless you want water in your face. The sea squirt may look like an underwater plant, but it's an animal more closely related to us than a cockroach. These squishy little creatures are in an umbrella category with vertebrates, like you, me, and anyone or anything else with a fancy backbone. That big, happy family is called the chordates. Starting as little tadpole-like larvae, sea squirts wiggle around in the ocean for a short time until they find a nice bit of water to call their own. Since they're unable to feed themselves, drastic measures must be taken. And I mean drastic. Like oysters, barnacles, and mussels, the sea squirt has a glue-like substance that cements it to the first place it lands. Once they've picked their forever home, they need to start eating. The first thing to go is their own tail. Then they absorb their gills and even their brain. No longer need the ability to navigate the ocean, it's become unnecessary. They're not heartless, though. The sea squirt's ticker is very similar to a human's. It even looks a little like ours. Gecko lizards are equipped with tiny hairs on their foot pads. These things let them climb any surface and run on it as if on the ground, even if it's your ceiling. The pistol shrimp gets its name from its weird claw. It's normally open, but when it snaps shut, it creates a bubble projectile that stuns its prey. The snap is so powerful, it creates a flash of light and momentarily heats up the water to the temperature of the sun's surface. A possum is any snake's natural nemesis. These creatures are immune to snake venom and like to munch on serpents a lot. Not to be confused with possums, though. When hippos get too hot, they ooze a pinkish liquid through their skin. It soon covers their bodies and protects them from sunburns. Meerkats, also seeing lots of sunny days, have black rings around their eyes that look like they're wearing sunglasses. And, well, it's exactly what those rings do. The black fur blocks out sunlight, allowing meerkats to look straight at the sky. Parrots, with their ability to mimic human speech, pale in comparison with lyre birds. These copycats can learn and produce over 20 different sounds, including chainsaws, dog barks, car engines, and fire alarms. And, of course, other bird songs, too. The alpine ibex is the absolute climbing champion of the animal world. Mother goats with their kids seem to be defying gravity by scaling flat vertical cliff walls where no other creature can walk. Male goats, on the other hand, prefer flatlands themselves. Lizards are known to regrow their tails, and sometimes even other limbs, but the axolotl beat them all. These strange critters can regenerate even such complex organs as their heart or brain. 
Salmon, this graceful water racer, has a built-in navigation system. Its body reacts to the magnetic field of the Earth and helps the fish find its way across thousands of miles. When threatened, bombardier beetles pop open the tip of their behind and spray the attacker with nauseous liquid. The chemical reaction inside the beetle's body makes this spray as hot as boiling water. Fleas may be small, but they're the best jumpers in all creation. If humans could jump like these tiny pests, we'd be able to hop over the top of the Eiffel Tower. Millipedes are scary enough by themselves, but some of their defense mechanisms are something else. For example, they might exude cyanide, burning in response to threat, and others can glow in the dark. Octopuses have three hearts, two of which pump blood to the gills, and the third one rolls it to the other organs. Their blood is blue, by the way, and they also have as many as nine brains. One is central, and the other eight are, you guessed it, controlling their limbs. Around 360 million years ago, there was so much oxygen in the air that the Earth was home to giant insects. Some of them could spread their wings up to 28 inches in length. That's a big bug. The word OK stands for all correct. Yup, 200 years ago, it was fashionable to go around and misspell things for fun. When a newspaper editor wrote all correct with an O and a K, somebody picked it up. Our hands and toes wrinkle when we spend time in the water in order to improve our grip when trying to get wet or submerged objects. Before trees appeared on Earth, the land was overtaken with giant mushrooms that could reach 24 feet in height. That's as tall as a giraffe. Before lobsters became a delicacy that only rich people could afford, they were considered a low-quality food that was only served to the poor a few hundred years ago. Even fishermen used lobsters to bait fish and fertilize their crops. Hey, camels have three eyelids to protect their eyes from sand. Two of the eyelids have eyelashes, and the third one is a thin membrane that acts as a wiper that cleans dirt from the eyes. Unlike regular eyelids, the membrane layer closes horizontally. The infinity sign is actually called a lemniscate. And no matter how big a number you think of, it's always closer to zero than infinity. You know, rain has no scent. But that lovely smell that we sniff when it rains comes from bacteria that live in the soil. Rain also gets the smell from plant oils and minerals released from the soil. A man named Steve Feltham holds the Guinness World Record for the longest time spent looking for the Loch Ness Monster. He camped at Loch Ness for over 28 years. I hear that when he was tired, you could see him dragging. Old mattresses are notably heavier than the new ones because of the stuff they collect during their lifetime. This debris is flaked off skin, dust mites, human and animal hair, sand, soil, pollen, and many more things you probably don't want to hear about. Now, seahorses pair up for life and often travel around together holding each other's tails. By the way, it's the male that carries the couple's eggs. You know about albinism. But what about its opposite, melanism? Melanistic animals have too much dark pigment in their skin, feathers, or hair. And unlike their light-colored counterparts, they look almost black. The word facetious has five vowels in alphabetical order. If you consider Y a vowel, then the word facetiously has all six. And in case you're wondering, almost is the longest English word with all its letters in alphabetical order. The cougar is a Guinness record holder because it has more names than any other animal. It's known as the panther, mountain lion, puma, and 40 other English, 25 native North American, and 18 native South American names. Here, kitty! Niagara Falls has moved back about 7 miles in the past 12,000 years due to erosion at the base. Luckily, the rate of this process has reduced over the past few decades, and the waterfall might eventually stop moving and stay where it is now. The first watermelons were extremely bitter or simply bland. They were originally cultivated in Africa just for their water content. 